Hey guys, so I'm going to my cousin's football game tonight and I changed my outfit because it's gonna be 59 degrees out here. So I'm wearing um, a shirt that has the Smiths with Morrissey on it, um, which I got from eBay and I'm wearing this cardigan from Ross. This orange skirt, you guys know where it's from, but I'm actually wearing polka dot tights. You kind of can't see it, but those are from Walmart. My socks are from Dolls Kills and the shoes are from a thrift store. Oh. I'm Chandler's mom, and I have on a 24-7 aesthetic t-shirt, a Calvin Klein windbreaker, some jeans, and some Chuck Taylors. Before I end this vlog, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make vegan yakasoba. You're going to go to Walmart, get this stuff. It's $2. It's super good. You're going to love it. Um, go ahead and grab any veggie that you want and go ahead and take the noodles out and puncture a hole in it and then put it in the microwave for one minute. This is going to loosen up your noodles. And these are vegan pasta noodles, by the way. And now I'm gonna show you how to fry this stuff up so it can taste mwah, delicious. Hopefully you guys can see. So I got my pan, this is a wok. Um, just grab a stainless steel pot, like a non-stick pot. And what we're gonna do is first, um, I took it off the eye because it's been up here frying for a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of grapeseed oil up there. I'm using grapeseed oil because it is a high temperature, um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but yeah. It's a high temperature little thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my red cabbage, turn it down, putting my red cabbage in there and I'm gonna put some onions in there. I am not a professional. <laughs> I know what I'm doing most of the time. Put some onions in there. And, ow, take it off the eye. Taking it off the eye for a second. And you're gonna put some garlic in there. I usually put the garlic in first, but for some reason I didn't. You can use fresh garlic or one of these kind of garlics. Where like, this stuff is like almost empty, so I'm just gonna use this. You can use garlic powder as well if you don't want to use garlic, like fresh garlic. And I'm gonna go in and add these snow peas. Snow peas. Kinda cut this bad boy open and I'm gonna grab a few by hand and I'm gonna go quickly rinse them. But basically this is what snow peas look like. They're super good. They're in like most Asian recipes. Uh, so I'm gonna throw these in here and now I'm going to add in the red peppers. You can add all of this at one time. It doesn't make a difference. And I'm gonna add my secret recipe, sesame oil, to the mix. This is what gives it its flavor. I'm gonna add in some garlic powder, even though I totally spilt it everywhere. Some salt, too much salt, probably. And some pepper. This is a messy recipe, guys. So then I'm gonna flip this stuff around. Get it all nice and cooked. It smells super good. If you want to, you can add in some soy sauce. I'm not going to, because um, I don't really have to. And you're probably wondering why I'm using these little clamps. I just like using these because it's easier. Let this cook. This meal takes like no time. I'm talking like 15 minutes, because the veggies, they just need to cook down just a little bit, not too much. Like they're literally almost done. You can add whatever veggies you want. You can add broccoli, you can add, I don't know, potatoes if you want to. Jicama, um, rutabaga, I don't know. But yeah, I'm only using the purple cabbage because my mom bought it the other day and I think it'll add really nice color to the meal. Crank it up to about a six. Like I said, make sure you're using a high heat oil 
so that your garlic and stuff doesn't burn. This smells fantastic. It literally smells like um, sesame oil and sesame oil smells so good. And by the way, I'm using toasted sesame oil, but it really doesn't make a difference. You want your veggies to have like a crunch to them? It's super late at night. The football game was really good. Uh, my nephew did a good job. Not my nephew, my cousin did a good job. Um, playing football is like his life. Um, he's always wanted to. I'm gonna use some tuxedo sesame seeds in here now, just to do that. But um, he's always wanted to play football since he was like a little kid. So it's kind of awesome to see him grow up and all that stuff. I didn't want to go at first because it's at a school. But I went to that made me um, get homeschooled due to the crappy kids I went to school with. But, you know, I told myself this is not about me. This is about my little cousin. And it, it really helped me get through it. So Tin Tin would recommend. I'm just cleaning up my mess. Because when you're cooking, you want to make sure you clean up your mess so your mom won't fuss at you, even though I totally spilled garlic powder everywhere. So now what I'm going to do is it comes with this little um, teriyaki sauce. So I'm just going to kind of shake that up and open it. Awesome sauce. And I'm gonna turn these babies over. I wish you guys could smell how delicious it smells. Like I said, you don't want these too cooked. I technically should have took out the middle parts, but it's totally fine. I'll take it out while I was eating, like the string, because like on the inside of the snow piece, because it's very fibrous, but you know. I don't play by the rules, apparently. And my onions turned purple because of the cabbage. Okay, so now that that looks nice and yummy, I'm going to take the pasta noodles that are still hot and we're going to open them. Make sure you have a tiny bit of water as well. Um, just maybe like half a cup of water, whoops. And I got pasta noodles everywhere. Cause I went Thor, not Thor, probably Rio Hayabusa on these pasta noodles. But anyway, kind of mixing them in, turning the yakisoba like this, getting the noodles nice and mixed in. Trying not to make a mess here, even though I always make a mess. And now I'm going to add the seasoning. Just kind of do that, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna add, crank up the heat and add a tiny bit of water. Just to help me mix everything in. See how the water cooks it up, cooks in, like evaporates really fast. You just want that water, you can turn your heat off now, you just want that water to help you mix up your pasta noodles with the sauce. It's also going to break up all that oil and whatnot, totally making a mess here. My mom's gonna watch this and cringe. She was watching um, 
one of my vlogs and you could see where my old dog tore up the floor. And she was like, why did you show them that? Thinking, I didn't know it was there, I forgot. So yeah, and it's done. I'm gonna plate this so you guys can see it and I'll be right back. <laughs> 